Okay, um, I'm going to be talking about birefringence and double light refraction um, from the perspective of crystallography for the deep project that I've been working on this year. So the first couple of pictures that I have just show how light passes through this calcite crystal. Um, so this was my original working model from the first semester. Um, there's a light source. I used a laser with a LED pen attached to it. Um, so the calcium carbonate crystal has a specialized structure that allows for light to be split essentially um, as it passes through. So we can kind of see down here in the bottom left corner, um, the light from the laser passes through on one end and comes out as a couple different beams of light on the other end. In this case, I was able to have um, four different beams of light coming out of, of the bottom end of the crystal. Um, this image sort of demonstrates the birefringent properties of the crystal the best. Um, on a rotating crystal, one image remains stationary while the other rotates around the first. And so the stationary images is known as the, is known as the ordinary image. Um, and the other sort of reflection of the light is known as the extraordinary image. Um, both these are produced by refracted rays, which sort of don't obey the laws of refraction. Um, they follow a physics principle called birefringence. Um, this is a demonstration that I have um, talking specifically about the calcite crystal. And so it has a, a refractive index of 1.4862. One point six five eight and a birefringence value of zero point one seven two, um, which is mo much higher than most crystals, um, which is why I used it in the demonstration to show um, the different refractions of light. Um, most crystals are doubly refractive, um, however, there are some pretty well known crystals that are singularly singularly refractive, like diamonds. Um, this is the second part of my project. So I had this beam splitter cube, um, courtesy of one of the physics labs, and it has pretty much the same properties as the calcite crystal. So light passes through on one end and the beam splitter splits the light. And so it is traveling in the direction that the light is polarized and a perpendicular direction. Um, I have a couple videos here that demonstrate it as well. Um, I think I'm just going to talk over this. So I have um, this light, this light source. Um, I'm shining through the calcite crystal um, just as sort of a live demonstration. You can see multiple beams of light coming out of the calcite crystal. Um, let's see. Okay. Here's another video that I have. This is a piece of, this is a polarized lens. Um, it is polarized in the same direction as the laser that I'm using. And so when you start to turn the laser beam or you start to turn the lens and the light becomes polarized in the opposite direction, um, you can sort of see the light start to disappear. You can see the light become a lot dimmer as it passes through um, this polarized lens. Very interesting part of the portion, part of the project. see okay here's a sort of better example of the polarized lens and you can see how the light pretty much disappears um, as it comes through because they are being the the light beam from the laser is being polarized in the, the opposite direction as the as the polarizing lens Here's another example of the uh, calcium carbonate crystal. That is the majority of what I have to talk about. Let's see if I can go back. Um, yeah, uh, there are two parts of this project. The first um, involves the calcite crystal. The second involves this beam splitter, um, sort of just to demonstrate the way that uh, these, these, this, this optics physics can be used in actual practical um, activities. So they use these beam splitters um, and things like scopes um, to help stabilize the light. They use them, especially in World War II, 
um, and use the same optics technology in their aircrafts. Um, yeah, the calcium carbonate crystal has has these natural properties. Uh, I was able to do a lot of research on biorefringent properties of different um, calcite crystals and other sorts of geologic crystals, just looking at the, the crystalline structure of different rocks and minerals. Um, thank you.